Hello, and welcome to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and we are toppling tuplets again today. Now, I thought I'd do a dedicated video on the notated swing triplet rhythm because it is common enough, and I do actually see it come up in the forums often enough, particularly with beginners, about how to actually do these swing triplets. And it is slightly unintuitive, so I can understand that. So I'll show you how to do it. And I'm going to show you how to do it in four different ways, with using simple entry, speedy entry, using the tuplet tool, and using a plugin. Uh, I will start with simple entry, so if you want to skip to one of the other methods in the video, go right ahead. But let's start with simple entry. Now in simple entry, we know that uh, when we enter a note, we can press the 9 key uh, to, en to create a triplet, right? And what we get when we do that is a triplet based on the rhythmic value that you first entered. So I entered a quarter note first and got a quarter note triplet. But this, the, uh, the swing triplet rhythm isn't quite that, right? It's actually an eighth note triplet starting with a quarter note, right? So we have to do something different. So instead of pressing 9, enter your quarter note first, press Option 9, and we'll get the Simple Entry Tuplet Definition dialog box. And the way it's set up by default is it's set up to say 3, Use Current in the space of 2, Use Current. And Use Current just refers to the note that you had just entered, so it's using the current quarter note value to define the tuplet, so it's going to create a quarter note triplet. Um, but we don't want to use current, we're actually going to choose eighth notes here. And what this will do is it will force Finale to create an eighth note triplet despite the fact that you started with a quarter note. And when you press OK, it does just that. You've got a eighth note triplet. So you've got that swing, tup that swing triplet rhythm, right? So again, just enter the quarter note, option 9, instead of use current, choose eighths. Click OK, and you've got your swing triplet rhythm. All right. Now there's a couple other neat tricks I'm going to show you about this. So let's do that all again. So enter your quarter note first. Option 9. We'll redefine this again as eighth notes. Eighth notes. And there's an option here, save as default simple entry tuplet definition. And when you check this, what you're doing is you're now using this setup, 3 eighths in the space of 2 eighths, as a default uh, set for whenever you press the 9 key, right? And so when you click OK, it's going to create that tuplet as you want to begin with, right? Enter your eighth note. And now all we need to do is enter the quarter note, and instead of pressing Option 9, just press 9, and it creates that eighth note triplet instead of a quarter note triplet, right? And finish it out, and you're good to go. All right, and then one more trick about this is that we can combine this with uh, the Command 9 function, which will turn on the triplet tool in the Simple Entry Palette, so we get essentially uh, sticky triplets, which means that any note we create is going to be that triplet. And that sticky triplet will be defined by that default uh, triplet definition, tuplet definition that we just redefined. So we're going to get eighth note triplets all the way across the board, right? So now all we have to do is press 5 for quarter note, enter a note, 4, enter a note, 5, enter a note, for enter a note. And you can see that you can make pretty quick work of, of, of your uh, swing tri triplets that way. And then to turn off the sticky triplet, press Command 9 again, and then you can enter normal notes again, right? So one more time, uh, Command 9, uh, 5, note 4, note 5, note 4, note. And Command 9 to turn it off, and then we can tie that to a final half note there. All right, so that's actually pretty quick work in simple entry to create those uh, swing triplet rhythms. And actually, I find this method using Command 9 um, having after redefined the, the default tuplet to be the second quickest method of doing this. Um, the first quickest being the, the, uh, the plugin, which I'll show you later. Um, and I'm a simple entry guy, and I, I actually think that's a little bit faster than doing it in simple entry. So, all right, so that is how to do it in simple entry. Now let's talk about speedy entry. Now we know speedy entry is a little bit different. Um, in order to get a triplet, we, we would just go into the frame and press option three and we'll get a triplet. But however, Finale is going to define the triplet based on the first uh, rhythmic value that you enter. So if I enter my quarter note first, I've created a quarter note triplet and I can enter uh, an eighth note here and it kind of looks like I've got that swing triplet rhythm, but actually if I were to keep going, you'll see that that, uh, that uh, tuplet bracket will extend to giving us a full quarter note triplets worth of value, which is not quite right, right? 
So how are we going to do this? We have to do it a little bit different. There's two different ways, and I'll show you. The first is, is by doing this, do the option three. Instead of creating the quarter note first, enter the first note as an eighth note. So what we've done is we've defined the triplet as an eighth note triplet. And then all you have to do is arrow over to that note and change the rhythm by pressing five to a quarter note. And then finish by pressing uh, uh, by entering an eighth note. So one more time, so it's option three. Enter the eighth note first, arrow over, press five to change it to a quarter, and then enter your eighth note, right? It's a little bit un unintuitive in that way, but the, that, that's actually how you would do it. There is a slightly different way. Instead of pressing option three, we can press option one. And what we'll get is a tuplet definition dialog box to appear. And the first part is what we're concerned about. And you'll see that off the bat, it sets us up as three eighth notes in the space of two eighth notes. And that happens to be exactly what we need. So if we click OK, it's creating a triplet for us. But this triplet will not be based on the first rhythmic value. It will be based on that value that was just defined in that, uh, that box, which was 3 eighths in the space of 2 eighths. So now I can enter my quarter note, and I'll get an eighth note swing triplet rhythm, right? So again, option one. And actually, we just press return or enter to get out of that box because it's, it's all set up for us out of the box. And uh, then we enter in a quarter and an eighth, and we're good to go, all right? Uh, so that's how you do it in speedy entry, two different ways, all right? And we can also create these swing triplet rhythms with the tuplet tool. Now, if you watch the first video, you'll know that uh, I, I'm not a big fan of creating uh, triplets or, or tuplets with the tuplet tool itself, but it can be done, and, uh, and so I'll show you. Uh, so if you're in the tuplet tool, obviously you know you have to enter uh, the notes first as normal rhythms, like I have it here. And then all you have to do is uh, check the click the first note. And when you do this, this tuplet definition dialog box will come up, but it will be set up as if you're creating a triplet based on the rhythm that you just uh, clicked. In this case, I clicked on the quarter note, so it's thinking I want a quarter note triplet. But in fact, I want an eighth note triplet. So we do have to change both of these pull-down menus to eighths and click OK, and it will create that uh, tuplet rhythm. And again, we have to do the same thing. Every time we, cl we click, it assumes we want a triplet based on the, the value that we just clicked. But, so we always have to change it to eighth notes and click OK. And again, with using the tuplet tool, we do end up with this problem where um, you, know, you can't enter enough values before you enter the triplets, so you end up with empty space here. So you do have to go back to one of your other tools and actually fill out the rest of the measure, right? So it's not the most efficient way to do it. In fact, this is the only way to do this uh, tuplet rhythm with the tuplet tool, and it's very tedious. You can see how many times it's taking me to actually, to how many mouse clicks, and then I gotta go back to the speedy entry tool, change the rhythm, etc. <coughs> it can be done, but like I said, it's pretty tedious. And in fact, I don't wanna do it anymore because this is getting too tedious. <laughs> All right, but that's how you would do it with the tuplet tool. All right. And finally, there is a plugin that will take care of this notated swing rhythm in one fell swoop. In fact, it is a JW plugin, which is a third party uh, plugins set. So it will not come with Finale out of the box, um, but I highly recommend that you uh, go check out these plugins. In fact, on my conqueringfinale.com website, on the bottom, I have a link to the JW website uh, where you can download these uh, plugins, and they're all free, which is uh, unbelievable. And when you download them and install them, they appear in your plugins uh, menu here on the bottom, JW plugins, and you can see how many there are. And you can download them all, or you can download them one at a time for whichever ones you need, etc. All right. And what we're concerned about is the one that changes these straight eighth notes. So all I did was just enter regular eighth notes. Um, and it will turn it into the, the swing tuplet rhythm, swing triplet rhythm. And this is how you would do it. So ch choose plugins, JW plugins. We're looking for JW meter and rhythm. And there's a whole bunch of options that you can, a whole bunch of things that you can do with the rhythms and meters with this uh, plugin. But the one we're concerned about for the swing rhythms is under rhythm transformation. So open that triangle. And the very first one is notated swing, which is what we want. And it's powerful enough that we can actually create eighth or sixteenth or quarter note type of swings. In this case, eighth is obviously the ones we want. And so we press apply, and voila, just like that, it, it changed that entire uh, section into that notated uh, swing rhythm. It's totally uh, unbelievable that it does it so quickly and just immediately. So again, this is obviously the quickest way to create 
that uh, those swing triplet rhythms, right? Incidentally, if you have a file from somebody that, that you got and they, they did all these uh, notated triplet rhythms and uh, you don't want that, you want it to go back to uh, straight eighth notes, same plugin, JW plugins, um, meter and rhythm. And right below notated swing is remove notated swing. And we can actually remove certain values of it, but in this case, any is fine. And apply, and it will revert back to those regular eighth notes. So it's an incredibly handy plugin. And I highly recommend that you uh, check out the JW plugins. All right, so uh, I think that's it. I showed you how to create some uh, some swing uh, triplet rhythms uh, with with simple, speedy, the tuplet tool, and an amazing uh, JW plugin. So hopefully, you won't be flummoxed by the uh, swing swing triplets anymore in Finale. <laughs> so, all right, so come back for some more uh, videos and toppling tuplets. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.